determination, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 197 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. So a block on the strike, and now the counter jab for good measure. Nice job by the longer fighter there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, heavy leg kick there. You saw the knee buckle. They're certainly getting after it early. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is this takedown defense? He to the single power tie. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on bro. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. And they separate. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. One-two punch by Choi. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch to the clinch. Big shot to the head. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. The guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. And they separate. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Out of range with that one. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, a beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Nice punch there by Troy. All 
Watch him to call a timeout. And they separate. And he's looking for that left hand just missed. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful kick. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attack, Jim, man. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there. It might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just twist that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Big kick lands. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. Oh! oh a little single collar tie there. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Second no, 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 round, no, no, straight no, ahead. No, 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 no. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big punch lands through the middle. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch the clinch. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. And they separate. Flips. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Now he's got the boy side block. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Joy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Got the single collar tie. Three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch from the clinch. And they separate. Nice punch, man, over the top. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Nice jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Oh, 
Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Nice kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Punch over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. Man, man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Water now, gotta find a way to move those feet. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Both fighters throwing heat now. Again, back into this position. Twenty seconds to go. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be Good night, Irene. Next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he right up the gut, DC, he's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight boots are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are better at nose. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Good punch. How about that shin? Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big kick. Duffs the takedown, no problem. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what, I'm going to take one to give one. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a wolf. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Nice. Look 
got the commitment to kick it in this fight. Just out of range with that right hand. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the U.S. soccer. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Slips the punch. Nice punch by Choi. Oh, nice. Nice. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. He might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile.